we need to start by turning round and going back to the other end of the corridor to storage room 1, just outside the door. There we go, so at the top of the map we need to be. We're going to start by inserting a new active prop by going to new and active prop. Active props are props that can be interacted with by the player. Normal props are just there for decoration and can't do anything. So active prop, scroll along. We want to find the lever. The lever is going to be used to open the door. This is the lever. So drag it on and drop it where you want it. Click it again and let go to turn it. It won't stop turning until you click one more time. So you don't have to click and hold to turn it. You just click and drag. Right, the lever is now in position. We can now go into the storage room and add the props that are going to go inside. In here we're going to add another active prop. This is going to be the safe. A CD is going to be contained within the safe. It is going to be part of the mission to get the CD and escape with it. Once you've got the safe, we can then go to New, Prop, and we want to find the crates. A crate will make it feel a bit more like a storage room. Drag a crate next to the safe. Click on the safe, and in the Properties window we want to change the state to Open. Go back to New and click on Pick Up. Pickups are objects that the user can pick up and use later in the game. We want to scroll across and find the disc. There we go, there's the disc. You need to drag it into the safe so it's sitting on the shelf. Like that. Once the disc is inside the safe, we can then click on the safe again and close it. The player will have to work out how to open the safe. That's all that needs to go inside storage room 1. Now we can go out of storage room 1 and go down the corridor. Turn around and go to the control room. In the control room we need a console, so let's go to New active prop and find the console so it's this one we want and drag it into the room we then want a prop this is going to be a chair that's going to be at the console there we go now this is facing the wrong way so we need to turn it around so click on it, let go drag to turn it around and then click again to set the position. Now we need another prop, the teleporter. This is what the user will use to escape at the end of the game. Make sure it's facing the right way and it's going to go at the back of the control room. We now need to go back to active props and find the power switch. This is what's going to be used to activate the teleporter. Make sure it's facing outwards. There we go. Once that's in place we can come out of the control room and go to storage room 2.
In storage room 2 we need another crate so we need to go to props and drag a crate into the room. Then we're going to go back to pickups and we're going to add the ray gun and the ammo on top of the crate. The user will have to use these to break open the safe and break into the control room. Place them on top of the crate and all the props are now in place.